I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Mamma mia! All right, anyway, let's play the level Revenge of the 1-1 one -one Goomba. This reminds me of my level. Oddly! <laughs> nope, all right. <laughs> this isn't 1-1, one -one. where's my Goomba? Uh, uh. Fish? Fish on him? Fish on him? No fish? All right, no fish. Do I have to go up there? I don't want to go up there. I'm hold on. Can I say hi to Thwompy McFlompy face? What's up? All right, we're going up there, I guess. I think I have to hit- I'm gonna hit this and stand still rather than running to the right, and I think that's gonna dodge a troll. <laughs> Alright! 50-50-100 is now in full force! Uh... Alright... Ah! I'm alive?! Oh, it was a- I thought that was a benevolent troll for a second, and it was a fake benevolent troll. Okay, up, bop, back, bounce, bounce, slowly! Okay. Is this really gonna do something? I hope not. Ah! What? <laughs> Already! Already! <laughs> it happened so soon! It happened so soon! Oh my god. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna turn into one of those Wilfred levels when there's a million brilliant No! Wait, 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 this is still oh, oh my god, the game is breaking me. No! It's already breaking me. I'm already losing it. Ah! Alright, this is amazing so far. Stop. Thank you. How do I not get absolutely destroyed by this? Oh jeez, there we go. Oh my god, that's set up. Right. Wait. Right? There was a pipe there the whole time? I thought I pushed down. Alright, we're getting absolutely destroyed by this level, and I love it. Which switch needed? No, it's still okay, actually. I was just there the whole time, it was just there! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> come on! Come on! Okay, fine. Give it to me. I mean, I wanted to get the mushroom. What was that fish? Well, that was just the fish from before. That was risky. <laughs> that was risky. No, I didn't go fast enough and the peace watch ran out. Oh, go fast, go fast, go fast. What is this? <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, um... No, 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 I'm not supposed to do that at all. Ah! <laughs> the, I am just, I'm breaking already and we've just basically been through one screen. I think I hit every single troll on this screen, on this first screen. How do I not die to this? Hold left, hold left, hold left, hold left, hold left. Okay, okay. I can't even get that. I can't even get that. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I can go here. Can I get it? Ah! Can I get it from this side? Where? I held left. I held left. Let the record show, I held left. Huh. Come on, dude. Oh my God, imagine if that, imagine if that had been a Goomba right there. <laughs> no. Oh, it stays there. Oh. Hey, all right, CV1.
I don't think I want to touch this. Ah! I did not want to touch it. I'm thinking like cosmic brain don't want to touch it. Maybe I do want to touch it. Wait, what? Oh, you can... I actually kind of love this. You can like see all the contraption-y stuff. Ah, what's that? Cheeky. Okay. I kind of like that, that it lets you see that actually. Uh, what is this? No, 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 no. Wait, well I have to hit, oh, I get it. I dropped that in there and then it hits it. Okay, nice, nice. I guess we're going, we gotta go up here before the timer runs out. We have been denied. Right. Do I just hold? Oh, maybe I just hold right right there. Okay. Same. I am. I just about. Start, I just about started over. It's breaking me. Ha! Can't hit me now. What now, bitch? Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Gets. Oh wait, I can't reactivate the P switch, can I? Ah, oh, dang it! I thought I just broke the level. Ah! Wait! Wait! That setup! I just got that setup. Oh my gosh, you didn't see that ricochet? That's not, that's totally on purpose. Oh my gosh. That setup is excellent. I just luckily dropped it soon. Oh. Oh my god, buy cannons. Why do the cannons do that? Do I want this? I think something might come out of that pipe and I'm very scared! Okay. Whew. All right, this is fine. What the heck? That was a very well-placed fish. That was a very, very well-placed fish. It just broke. Oh my god, it broke my shell. That's what that thwomp was. It broke my shell. How did I... Oh, I just jumped. Okay. I just whiffed my jump the first time and it worked out for me. I'm just gonna peace. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Oh, there's something there. There's something there. I think it's uh can you see it? It's a um it's a giant mushroom, I think. Can I have you? <laughs> this is fine. That's fine. I mean I want to touch it. I shouldn't though. I really shouldn't though. <laughs> yes! Yes! I have a feeling I might have just accidentally done it right. I think I might have accidentally... What's this? What are you doing to me? What's this? There's a freaking clown car there. What are you doing to me? That did not happen the other time. Jank level. <laughs> Mate. Oh, that's what's supposed to happen. I see. Oh, look at those little dancing legs. Look at the little legs are dancing. Wee! Dancing legs. Oh, you can't see it very well. I have had funny little dancing legs. Let's try going when the claws sway all the way to the left. Still works. <laughs> Wee! You kick your feet. <laughs> okay, I think I just jump up here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And if I push... I now understand the setup. If you push up to grab the vines. This is, wait, this is the second, this is the second fake door entry. Okay, so I don't hit up. Now I don't know how to do this part still. Oh, maybe it's one of these sort of situations. Maybe I can get up that now? Ah! What? That's another one! There's a freaking. How many are there? What is this? Huh. How many? Oh my god, and it's the getting over it section, isn't it? Wait, I'm. Oh, alright. I understand. I understand. Oh my god, what is that hole? Woo! Oh my god, what is this hole? How did I get in it already? 
Oh, what is that bonk? That bonk is horrid. What are those bombs doing? Yo, let's go! That was actually a really cool jump. I haven't seen a, like a controlled jump bonk if you don't control it right set up like that. I think I had the right idea here, but then... Oh my god, there we go. That felt inspired by Wilfred's section. I don't know if I wanted to do that. I'm gonna hit it from the side. Do I wanna... Uh. Oh, no! No. What is this? Not another one. Not another one! <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna second try this. Ready? We're just gonna get the perfect bounce here, and then we're just gonna snake our way in. Oh! All right, I lied. We're gonna be here till the end of time. I take it back. I take it all back. Oh, I don't want. I don't want your pity. Get to get that. Get that. No, 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 no. How did I get in that ante again? Oh, this thing, this fucker. No, 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 good lord, it's horrible. Okay, jeez. Um, this looks horrible also. It's gonna reverse. You know it's gonna reverse. There's a one billion percent chance that this convey, wait, the conveyor can't reverse. Can this one reverse? This one can't even reverse. What am I talking about? Mm, yes, very good! Alright, I actually have no strat for this other than just freak out and hope it works. Okay. Now, is it, it's when you go past this stupid one way. What the heck? Look at that! Wait, what the? Oh my god, go Mario. Wow. Does this level even have a Goomba in it? <laughs> Where's my Goomba? I hate how stupid that was. Well, um, Carl Scams in the chat. <laughs> Will we see a freaking Goomba? Yeah, and then we're like, well, does a Goomba in the pixel art count? And then like, we don't actually see a Goomba, but then I say yes for that. And that's how you know you've really been scammed. Wait, what is this? Wait, I think I needed Lonk. Abilities somehow. Can I duck? I think I get it actually. No, I don't get it because I don't have the thing yet. What? Down. Oh, down. Down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So then for this one, I think I'm gonna have to. Do that. What? What do you mean? Uh. -uh. What? What's happening? What's happening? Ha! Still alive. Do you do you do do do? I just want to listen to the music. I just want to listen to the music. That is not, wait, is that a Goomba or is that a Galoomba? <laughs> yeah, that's a Goom Rat. That is a Goom Rat. Don't do that. Oh, what the heck? What am I actually supposed to do? Oh, I get what I was, wait, did I just soft lock? No, 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 something will come out of this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I think I get what to do. I think I get what to do. Okay, all right, we do want to do it like this. That's actually fine, right? And then we go like this. 
Why was the order different that time? I don't know why uh -uh, me. I feel like I might be cheesing that or something. Hmm. <laughs> Come on! Come on, what was that? What was that? Oh, come on. Um, what if we grab it? Oh, I can go all the way to the side. Wow. Okay, and then... Dude, this game sucks! This game sucks! Oh, you just ram it in. Okay. Does it do anything? Oh god, what if I needed to wait for that? Um, what's up with this block? Part of me wonders if I was supposed to get hit. Or will this hit me? Well, this will hit me. Oh, that's what's up with the block. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> Let me in! Hello! You can see them, like, clip into it for a split second. Oh my god. What if I get some momentum? Come on. Get some momentum, turn left. Come on, so there's gotta be some way in. There's gotta be some way into this. Uh, half blocks. Filthy stinking half blocks, dude. And then we need to not hit this block there. What's set up here? What was that? What was that? What was that about? That looks like, this looks like I can't go down there because I'll get trapped, but maybe that's what it wants me to think? Wait, what? Down? Don't, no down. I need the mush, the muncher? This, oh, oh my gosh. So it like trained me to want to protect myself with the shield from the previous part. And then I, like right here, it like sort of trained me to want to do that. I guess we just take it. We just take it. Oh, I get it. I get it. Cause this will hit me. Oh, and then I can go through here. Okay. Oh God, what's this? I'm scared. I'm so scared. That thwomp is gonna do bad things, man. I'm so scared of that thwomp. <sighs> How did I die, by the way? Shield, arrow, sneak in, destroy cloud soul, literally. Oh, why did I do that? This is fine. I don't know why I did that. I am glad I did not get punished for it. Okay, I think I go, I have to jump all the way to the clouds. That's the play. And then we put the bomb down, but don't shield. Okay, and then acquire Big fire boy, lose big fire boy. No! Oh, I don't want to be here. I know I don't want to be here. It's gonna be the ante again. Wait, hope you. I did pull it! I did pull it! I pulled it! I pulled it! I pulled it! I pulled it! No! I pulled it! Ah! Oh my god. The one time I pulled it. I actually freaking pulled I was spacing out this cloud right here. Oh my god, we have to see what happens if you don't pull it. The one time I pulled it is the one time I got through this section. What happens if you don't pull the cloud? What happens if you don't pull the cloud? Oh, just sad. Wow, look at those coins. Give me them. Oh, fine. Okay. Sadness. <gasps> Wait, what's different about this? What's different? What's different about this than... Oh, are you kidding me? I bet you my whole life is gonna kill me. Oh god, it did Wait, what? Wait, why did I? Wait, why did I hold left? Why did I hold left? Hold left is how you don't die. No. 
No! I just did what I did the first time. I didn't think... No! I can still die to this... Oh, thank god. Oh no, I could have. Maybe? It's too late now. <sighs> well, we really dummied that one up. <laughs> we really dummied that one up. Gosh, all right, so we pull the cloud. We pull the cloud. Okay, I go here, go back there. I don't think you can make that. Oh, you can make that. Oh, okay, it just doesn't do anything. Interesting. There it is. None of these pipes do anything, by the way. I tried going in all of them. So we go in here. Okay. Now what's different about this now that I've pulled- Oh! I didn't, wouldn't have known that anyway. What the heck is this? What the heck is this all about? What the heck is this all about? Oh god. Alright, we're going up. We, like, we were big, but then we got Link. But, like, the bonk occurs first? I think the head bonk occurs first. The Link power-up is clearly before... Like, you're gonna hit the Link power-up long before you bonk your head. And yet you... Maybe the hitbox just persists after getting Link. I think that must be it. So this should work? Yeah, okay. What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to hold left. Oh god. Okay, that was almost mistakes were made. So we- I think I... Wait, no, 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 how do I, oh god, 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 don't hold left, don't hold right, hold right, hold right, no, what do I do? Where am I going? Oh, I'm going over there. Oh, I just bail. Do I bail? I think I go, do I go up? I think that's what I do. Oh god. Oh god. That was not at all what I wanted to do. Okay, this is right. Jeez. I thought the thing was gonna come at me. There's a that is the real flag. That's the real flag. Oh my god, our options are to go down or to go I can't go up here. Could I have not lost my link suit? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I can go up here. Can you get that? <laughs> you can get that. Oh, it's gonna be the end. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> what do you mean, no mushroom? <laughs> what do you mean, no mushroom? What do you mean? Wait, that really happens? That's really how it works? That's so stupid. Oh my god, I can't believe that's a thing. Come on, dude. I can't believe that's a thing. Yes! 
Look at that boom boom. Look at that boom boom. Uh, how do I die, by the way? Hello? I can't go in the pipe. I can't go in the pipe! Oh, I can go in the pipe. <laughs> Wait, you can go in a pipe like that? Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. Whoa, things are happening. Oh god, that, that better not be CP1. Oh god, this is CP1. <laughs> Do I have the key? No, I don't have the key. Wait, this is CP1 again, isn't it? Wait a minute, this is ZP1 again. Alright, I'm just standing still. I'm just standing still. <laughs> oh god, it's a real ZP1. It's real! Let's go! Oh god, it's so real. It's so real. It's so real. How did it work? How did I CP1 myself doing the same thing the first time and not do it the second time? What? How do I actually... What the heck? Oh my god, if that had been a fish. Okay, I can't do anything yet. So that does this. I think this is not possible. Yeah, I think it's not possible. I think this is the only thing I can do. Will this win now that I didn't break those bottom blocks? Yes! Yes! Fantastic level, you mean? You have to respond very fast because you're like in you're like buried in the corner down there. Uh this is a quick science thing for some of the stuff that I am working on right now that has to do with antibodies because antibodies are really cool. So I don't know if you guys like how I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume like zero baseline information about what antibodies are. Um but this is a cool little animation I found. So this is sort of like what antibodies do with little pictures. So like antibody, oh, I don't want your, I don't want your talking. So this is like a, antibodies are sort of like these Y-shaped molecules that your immune system makes that go and fuck up viruses, bacteria, parasites, or anything, including like toxins. So this video is showing diphtheria toxin. Um, and the idea here is that when something gets in your body that is not supposed to be there, um, this, these antibodies um, are made and you have like millions and millions and millions of different ones of them that can stick to basically anything and they sort of stick to stuff and flag it as being bad so like these toxins these diphtheria toxins would um, destroy your cells uh, normally but when if your body produces an antibody response it sticks to those toxins so that's what it's showing here like the antibodies are sticking to the diphtheria toxin so that it can't go and stick to your cells and make them blow up um, so it's just sort of like a cool little visual depiction of like what's happening in your bloodstream Like these things circulate through your bloodstream and they get basically everywhere So like they're in your mucus, they're in your intestines, they're in your blood um, 
pretty much everywhere your body produces antibodies and there's like a million other parts of the immune system besides just antibodies but antibodies are really cool so uh people basically figured out that you can use these things these antibodies to do really cool stuff because they're like molecules that will stick to stuff and so um, I just like, this is just is like, I just, I love science paper sometimes. So I was reading the science paper and I just sat there for a second and I'm like, this is so freaking wild. Okay, so development of antibody fragment. So they made like a part of an antibody fragment, a antibody producing rice. So these people have made genetically modified rice that poop out these antibodies and the particular antibodies that they're making destroy or neutralize human norovirus. Um, human norovirus is a virus that I work on that causes, uh, the technical term is gastroenteritis, but it's like when stuff is coming out both ends, that's norovirus. Uh, we often call it stomach flu in the US, which is not related to flu in any way, but let's just like, I think this is so freaking rad and like crazy and weird. Like, okay, you know, we genetically modified rice that make human antibodies that destroy a virus because that's science. All right, why not? Why, why the heck not? But something about this I thought was even cooler is check this out. It's a, in this paper, it says here, we used a rice transgenic system to produce blah, 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 blah of a llama antibody. So like, they're not just, this actually isn't a human antibody. It's actually a llama antibody. And like, there's a specific reason why. So these, um, go away advertisement. Um, these camelid antibodies are much smaller. So this is like a picture of one of the llama antibodies. And this is a picture of one of our normal human ones. And as you can see, it's got like some of the bits the same, but like this top little part of it is much smaller. And that actually makes it cheaper to make. And also it can sort of like snake its way into smaller crevices, um, which can be useful. And then it's just like, what the hell are you doing, sharks? Like, what, this is a shark antibody. Like, whoa, calm the fuck down. <laughs> I don't know. So antibodies come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes from different animals. Um, and they can be used to do different things, which I think is really neat. Um, there's a whole bunch of different antibodies that look all different. Here, let me see if I can find a better picture of this. Okay, so uh, this one, whoa, whoa, stop it. Okay, this one called IgG is sort of like the normal antibody. That's the one that our bodies make the most of. Um, but there are all sorts of different shapes and sizes of antibodies that our bodies make too. So for instance, they also make these IgAs and these are the ones that you'll find like in mucous membranes and stuff like that, or like in your intestines. Um, these sort of get secreted. Um, IgMs are just freaking wild. It's like five of these things all linked together in this giant little star shape. Um, but IgEs are really interesting too. So the thing that I wanted to tell you guys about, which is something that I'm working on in the lab right now, has to do with these other types of antibodies called IgEs. Um, so IgEs, are often thought of as being things, are being antibodies that cause allergies. And these days, they're in like developed countries, that's mainly what we worry about them for is causing allergies. But actually, um, the reason that they exist is to fight parasites. So um, like worms and things like that that can infect you um, are typically fought off by your body by this other type of antibody called IgE. By the way, the IG stands for immunoglobulin, which is just a big, silly, long science word. Um, but there's been a lot of really interesting research on these IgEs, which have been neglected for a long time up until very recently. Um, and that has to do with fighting cancer. So this, this science journal article talks about how people can use IgE antibodies um, in this case, it says to re-educate macrophages. And what that means is to take your immune cells, macrophages are a particular type of important immune cell, um, and to train them to fight cancer. Um, so people um, made a really interesting discovery that people who are deficient in IgE antibodies um, have higher rates of cancer. So for instance, if you look at this line right here that I'm highlighting, patients with ultra low IgE levels have an elevated risk of cancer of any type. And so the thought process here is that actually 
our body's like natural way of fighting cancer in many ways has to do with these IgE antibodies that up until recently people really only focused on for their role in causing allergies. Um, but in reality, um, they might have a role not just in defending our bodies against parasites, but also against cancer. And so what I'm doing right now and what a lot of people are doing around the world is taking um, a lot of our, a lot of the um, therapies that we've developed to fight cancer that mostly just focus on IgG. So for instance, the COVID vaccine is mainly trying to get your body to make IgG antibodies against COVID. Um, and that protects you against viruses. But against cancer, maybe we want to be making these IgEs instead. And so people are taking um, cancer targets that have existed for a long time, and instead of trying to produce this type of antibody to fight them, they're trying to produce this other type of antibody as well. Yeah, I guess, like, this is a simplistic explanation, but in some ways, cancer is more like a parasite, because parasites are very large, um, than it is like a virus or a bacteria. So the IgEs fight viruses and bacteria, and the, or the IgGs fight viruses and bacteria, and the IgEs fight parasites. So there's just some cool, some cool little science stuff about what's going on. Um, I'm particularly applying these IgE therapies for breast cancer, but I think we're going to start to see a shift of um, doing this for a lot of other different types of cancers as well. So anyway, this entire general um, way of treating cancer with, um, with like your own immune system is called immunotherapy. It's super popular and has made, it has led to humongous advances in cancer treatment. Uh, cancer treatment keeps getting better and better and better and better. I know some people are always like, hey, why is there no like cure for cancer? Like when we're we gonna have a cure for cancer or whatever. But the reality is, is that survival rates from cancers keep getting better and better and better and better. Uh, and these sorts of like incremental advances are the sorts of things that are contributing to that. Uh, many cancers that would have been a death sentence even 10 years ago, but especially 50 years ago or 100 years ago um, are totally not just like you know, not they, we, it's, it's gotten to the point where you're not just extending people's lives, but they can maybe live to a normal lifespan. Um, but then there are other cancers that have been really resistant to treatment, like these sorts of things don't work for various different reasons. So anyway, that's just some of the stuff that I'm working on in the lab right now. Um, I actually make plants that produce these IgE antibodies, and it works extremely well. It's some of the stuff I did during my dissertation was to make a system of being able to like genetically modify plants and make human antibodies. And now we've sort of changed that system to making these IgEs instead. What if you combine IgG and IgE together? See, King sees all these are the sorts of things that people need to try. Um, it absolutely, I can't remember what they have IgM do. A lot of them are just sort of like precursors or redundancies or whatever, or like, you know, they sort of make this one first and then transition to that one later as the immune system, as the immune response progresses. Um, like they activate different parts of the immune system, stuff like that. In reality, a lot of this stuff is being used at the same time. How expensive is this? Well, that's one of the reasons why I um, do this sort of stuff with plants, Saitama, um, because like obviously you can't farm antibodies from humans, right? So you need something else to make them in. And a lot of the ways that people normally make these sorts of things can be very expensive. So like treatments can run in the many thousands of dollars of range. And we're hoping that as the technology keeps getting better, it'll keep getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Do you mean time, money, or both when something is expensive? Yeah, I do mean both, um, but it, I do mean like, I just mean like the monetary cost of having it as a treatment and giving it to people is high. What is the purple connective chain on IgA? So yeah, it's just like, these are, these are different proteins. These are all proteins. And this is sort of a simplified view of it, but it's called the joining chain. And um, it just sort of attaches both of them together. So you can have these IgAs floating around by themselves, but if you also have this joining chain present, which is a different protein, each one of them will sort of stick on the end of it and hold them together. And there are reasons why. How does one naturally stimulate IgE production? That's a good question. Your body has different ways of recognizing, um, recognizing certain things and then responding to it in a certain way. And so like allergies stimulate IgE, whereas like viruses don't as much, but they may still a little bit. Um, I don't know if IgE honestly hasn't been studied, I don't think as well as it should have been. Um, so that's just sort of what's going on in the science world right now. And like, I, I think it's interesting how some things are sort of in our control and others are like, like other, some things are like totally in our control. Some are like partially and some aren't at all, right? Like we can't, you, I mean, you can, you can actually sort of change your heart indirectly, right? Like if you go run, it'll make your heart beat faster or if you freak out about something. Um, 
but like your intestines just kind of do their things and your immune system you have basically no control over but we can like blink and we can breathe and we can do that stuff so i think that's kind of interesting where can we access the science paper journals like this without having to pay for them? I, I Unfortunately, I get them through my university. The, there's a whole movement to make science papers more freely available um, called open access. But yeah, can you explain kinases? This is on your test, isn't it? <laughs> Phosphates are useful things that your body uses as like markers or to store energy or whatever. And so those, the enzymes, kinases, put them on stuff. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I don't know. It's been a while since I took that stuff. What's between IgG and IgD? Yeah, um, IgD, it, like, here, if we look at, like, this thing, it says, main blood antibody of secondary response neutralizes toxins. Opsonization is, like, helps other cells eat stuff. Um, but, like, I don't even know if that's necessarily... Oh, wait, sorry. That was IgG. IgD is, is like the oh, it's like the receptor on B cells. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. IgG is the main one. So yeah, see, if you look, 80% of the total amount of antibody is IgG. So the vast majority of it is. And like IgE is very minimal. Um, but yeah, the there are actual cells that sort of have antibodies stuck to them and it's a whole complicated process. And yeah. So the hygiene hypothesis for allergies is true. I don't think it's like fully true or fully false. I haven't looked at any recent stuff on it. The hygiene hypothesis is really interesting though. Um, it's like the idea that when our bodies haven't been exposed to the things that it's expecting to be exposed to, like parasites, um, your body may sort of look for them anyway and find plant pollen anyway and think that it's, and, and think that it's um, a parasite. And that's why you get allergies. Um, but whether or not you could like, like, let's say you like vaccinated somebody against parasites or maybe you developed like some, I don't know, like attenuated parasites or something, or if you actually really got exposed to parasites, would you actually have fewer allergies? I don't know if anybody's done any really good studies on that. Um, but that's the idea behind the, hy the hygiene hypothesis. I don't know anything about organic robots, but I think it's really cool. And I hope people keep, keep doing cool stuff with it. Could developing allergies be a potential side effect? No, not at all, emotional support. They would never cause allergies. Um, I'm so hard to explain why. Um, it, it's specifically making IgEs and an immune, it's not just IgEs, it's making like an entire immune response against the particular shape of pollen and other things that cause allergies. Um, and so if anything, having your immune system do something else with those IgE related systems, if, if that's sort of what I was talking about, the hygiene hypothesis could theoretically reduce allergies, but it's it's more complicated than that. So, you know, people are gonna need to figure it all out. Another pretty cool thing is the role of IgG4 in developing tolerance, such as when you do exposure therapy for allergy. Yeah, that's really interesting because there's lots of different, there's so many more different types of antibodies like within each one of these classes. So like IgG is not just one thing. There's actually tons of different types of IgEs or IgGs. Um, and then your body can modify them in a bunch of different ways to send different signals by sticking sugars on them. And it gets really complicated and really interesting. Um, so it's not a question of how many IgG you have, but they're sh it kind of, it's like what they're recognizing. And it's not just the IgEs, there's more to it than that, unfortunately. The immune system is very complicated. Um, so I tried to just give you this small snapshot, but like if you imagine this small snapshot that I gave you about IgEs, if you imagine 100 different, completely different things like that, that's like what the immune system is really like. And by 100, it's probably 1,000 actually. So we were talking about this a little bit earlier, but the immune system is very complex and it has thousands of different components that all work together and interact together. So um, yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know, knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know.